Hello and welcome back to this course about our solar system. Human beings have studied our solar system for thousands of years, but it was only in the last few centuries that scientists started to really figure out how things work. The area of robotic exploration sending on crew spacecraft beyond Earth as our eyes and ears is only a little more than 55 years old. A fleet of space robots is out there right now exploring destinations from the sun to the distant planets orbiting faraway stars. So here are some key data points and events to keep in mind. In the year 1543, Nicholas Copernicus publishes his theory of heliocentrism, a model that places the sun at the center of the known universe with the planets orbiting in circles around it. From 1609 to 1619, while Copernicus rightly observed that the planets revolve around the sun, it was Kepler who correctly defined their orbits. Kepler for the first time described the motion of the planets around the sun in what became the three laws of planetary motion. In the year 1610, when Galileo Galilei pointed a new invention called the telescope at Jupiter, he made a great discovery that there are actually four moons orbiting Jupiter. This was the first visible proof that Copernicus was right. Planets do orbit the sun and Earth is not the center of the universe. In the year 1705, Edmund Halley mathematically demonstrates orbital similarities for comets observed in the years 1456, 1531, 1607, and 1682, and then successfully predicts the return of the same comet in 1758. We now call this repeat visitor comet Halley, and the comet will return to the inner solar system in 2061. In the year 1781, William Herschel extends the solar system by telescopically discovering a new planet. The proposed name for the seventh planet was Georgium Sidious after King George III of England and did not fly with scientists of that age. Instead, the giant planet was named for Uranus, the Greek god of the sky. In the year 1801, Giuseppe Piazzi discovered Ceres, the first object in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, while he was searching for a star. He first believed that he had discovered a comet, but with the help of other astronomers, he called it a planet. Ceres was later classified as an asteroid and is now called a dwarf planet because it is so different from the hundreds of thousands of other known asteroids. In the year 1846, Urban Leverrier, with confirming observations by Johan Gale, further extends the solar system by predicting and observing a new planet called Neptune. And in the year 1930, Clyde Tombaugh's photographic search discovers a member of the solar system beyond Neptune called Pluto, initially classified as a planet but now considered a dwarf planet. In the year 1977, the first of the NASA's twin voyagers, Voyager 2, lifts off on an epic tower of the outer solar system. The mission used twin spacecraft to take advantage of once every 175 years geometric arrangement of the outer planet, which allowed them to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The trajectory also gave both spacecraft enough velocity to exit our solar system. And in the year 2004, NASA's two Voyager spacecraft separately begin exploring a turbulent region of space known as the Helios Heat, the outer shell of the bubble of charged particles around our sun. After more than 33 years of travel, the two Voyager spacecraft will soon reach interstellar space, which is the space between the stars. And in the year 2012, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft officially is the first human-made object to venture into interstellar space. The 36 years old probe is about 12 billion miles or 19 billion kilometers from our sun. This is mankind historically into interstellar space and to the stars. Here are some top careers that explore space. Astronaut. Astronaut paved the way for human exploration beyond our Earth. There are pilots, scientists, engineers, teachers, and more. A project manager. Project managers guide missions from conception to completion, working closely with team members to accomplish what they set out to do. Administrator, directors, 
administrators and directors work at organization headquarters, prioritizing science questions and seeking to expand the frontiers of discovery. Next, educator. Whether it's introducing kids to space or teaching physics, educators help share their knowledge with the public. Engineer. Engineers design and build all types of machines from what a spacecraft looks like to the software that directs where a rover goes each day. Scientists, from an astrophysicist to a volcanologist, scientists of all types ask questions and help find answers to the mysteries of our universe. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.